Hi, I'm Ariel. You're watching She Wants the Diction. Actually, before I get started today, I wanted to mention I have amazing artist friends who are doing doing who are doing <laughs> amazing artist things, and I think that artists need to support artists and also just like friends support friends. So I just wanted to mention that my friend Christina has started a podcast with her friend Jenny. It's called So Story, and I'm gonna link to it. I don't really know how to do that, but I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna link to it and it's awesome and you should listen to it. Now there's only one episode out so far, but the whole purpose of the podcast is they just talk about different stories that are like important to them and like why stories matter, which obviously is a person who reads a lot of fiction, like definitely something that interests me and probably a lot of you. I mean, just in the first episode, I think they talked about Harry Potter, Star Trek, D&D. So all those like nerdy things, just go over there and like listen to it because I love her and she's amazing. Self-produced, independent works of or I don't know, I feel like people need to support them more because I feel like things are so much better when they're like someone's passion project. While I'm at it, if you are a person who listens to like alternative hip hop or rap, my boyfriend's album just came out. It's called Not Myself. And I'm super hyped because I helped him like design slash make the cover art. So I will link that as well. People making awesome works of art, like go support them. That's enough of me laying that on you. Now for the actual point of the video, which is, uh, I recently bought five books. Yay! Now I wasn't supposed to buy any books. <laughs> I know, you watched that bookshelf video. You know I'm not supposed to be buying books, but I have a good excuse. I got rid of, I think maybe like 10 books in the book box that we went to last time. I don't know how many, but I got rid of some. I got rid of more than I brought in, so don't worry. Okay, the first one that I got was the Particular Sadness of Women Cake by Amy Bender. I had it forever ago. I already read it. I thought it was so good that I gave it to my friend Christina, who I mentioned before, and that was the only copy I had. So I don't have a copy. And I found this for a dollar and I flipped out. At least a four star read, I think, for me. Now, I don't know if I would still think it was good, but I messaged her <laughs> saying that I found it. And she told me that it was apparently like really, really sad, but a beautiful book. Considering it retails for 15, I could not, you know what I'm saying? And the other thing I got was The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wow. Wow? Don't know. By Who Not Diaz? Pulitzer Prize winner, A. B, I've read him before. This is how you lose her. So this was just like short stories about failed relationships, which makes it sound really lame, but I don't know. A, it's definitely a different voice and also like a Latinx author. So I just wanted to get this to read eventually. This other one, The Film Club by David Gilmore. Honestly, I just grabbed this. I'm pretty sure it's a mem memoir, but I just grabbed this because I liked the description of it, which is this kid wants to drop out of high school. His dad lets him on the condition that he has to watch a film. Like, I don't know if it's every day or something like that. And I'm assuming eventually, somehow through watching these movies, he eventually convinces him to go back to school because what would be the other conclusion for this book? But, <laughs> but I mean, like, I don't know. The premise was just like sounded interesting. Now we'll see whether or not it's actually interesting or if it's just trash. And then I got Toni Morrison, beloved. I was really happy to find this. I went over the bookshelves like three times and they were worthless. And then I found this peeping out and I was like, oh shit, glad I checked like a million times. But if you saw my first Blackathon video, then you know that I already read The Bluest Eye and that was my first Toni Morrison book. Never read anything by her. And I've heard this one is just as soul destroying. We'll be reading that at some point. And also I wanted to mention, I think I misspoke in that first video. I said that I think The Bluest Eye had won the Nobel Prize. Okay, I was mistaken because it says winner of the Nobel Prize at the top of all of these. She won the Nobel Prize in general for her writing, like Nobel Prize in literature. It wasn't just one book. I had that a little, I mean, it's not wrong, but it's not precisely right, which bothers me. This one did win the 1988 Pulitzer Prize for fiction. And then I got the best creative nonfiction volume two edited by Lee gut kind. I don't know. I was intrigued by the premise of like creative nonfiction because it's nonfiction. So you wouldn't think of it as being creative, but I mean like it is though. I also have a blog and I don't know. I feel like there's a huge difference between like journalistic reporting and then like writing in a way that's like actually engaging. I thought these stories would just might be like random and interesting. I think that's all the books that I bought. The book box that we went to last time, I did get <laughs> these three magazine of fantasy and science fictions and just look at this cover. <laughs> Like this cover, especially like, I don't know. I, I like had to get these. I don't even know where else you would ever even find these. So I'm kind of curious how much, oh, 750. These were 750 a piece initially. Like probably cheaper than that if they had a subscription, but I don't know. It's like, 
free sci-fi shit. Why, why would I not? Especially when the cover's looking like this. So technically I brought in eight books. <laughs> My bad. That's pretty tame for me. You're not allowed to make a face. I forbid it. Those were all the books that I bought this month. February? Yeah. February. I feel like a used car salesman, honestly. Like, what is, what is this? What is this?